everybody. I'm Steph from the band Metalworks, probably best known for uh, being in and around Camden Town and uh, doing the odd thing up and down the country now and again. There I was completely wasted and out of work here now. While inside it's so frustrating because the trip was out of town. Feel as though nobody cares if I'll ever die. So I might as well be killed to put your back in my name. Come on! Breaking the law, breaking the law. 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 So I might fall like golden future, I can't even start. While that every promise broken when there's anger in my heart You don't know what it's like, you don't have a clue To just if you find yourself, try to try to make sense Breaking the law, breaking the law 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 Say. I first got inspired to uh, front bands after seeing bands like Finn Lizzy, Family and other cl classic rock bands which I used to open for in cover bands during my teenage years, uh, back when there was a much more vibrant music scene in the land London. In the seeing each other and uh, just decided we weren't doing a lot and just to get together and have a little jam now and again and that all sort of started off in a scout hut in Chesham in Hertfordshire and basically just sort of went on from there really.
song. How are you all doing tonight? I said, how are you all doing? Hey, come on, it's your turn next. The thing with metal work too, there's always been an easy going atmosphere. It's mainly friends of mine and people that I've sort of known and acquaintances of you know come across over the years. Um, you know, some of the guys, you know, have been in big bands like Judas Priest and Iron Maiden and and um, it's basically just like a social thing. Sometimes with like for example another chap that we had on board, Pete Friesen, who played with Alice Cooper and the Almighty. I think a lot of time musicians have got downtime. It was, it was an easy sort of thing just to come in and play a few covers for a couple of hours and just really sort of keep them sharp and on top of their game. You know I'm gonna lose! God bless for fools! Come on! I think the key to our success has been um, varying the situation up there, different players, different themes, different things happening, also allowing guest spots, different people to uh, jump up and jam us now and again. As far as like, um, you know, we have an opening slot for new emerging bands doing their own material and everything. But what I've noticed, um, especially when, when um, you know, these bands give me CDs and things, is you often find that they spent a lot of time on production and getting a really well mastered product with all the artwork, but the actual songs don't add up too much. And in my opinion, I think sometimes if you haven't got songwriters in the band, you're better off actually looking to get songs from another source. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of stuff over the years where I think that so much time has been spent on, 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 um, on finishing the package, the actual substance doesn't really add up to a great deal.